Hey everybody, welcome to an Oktoberfest-tastic adventure! Now, those who know me know I'm not a real big beer drinker. The closest I come is Corona with a lime. That's, that's my taste in beer. But I do enjoy a good hard cider. Those are really good. There's a lot of fun fall beers out there and hard ciders. I thought it's time to try some. So I went over to my local Trader Joe's, which I love Trader Joe's. It's my favorite grocery store and it's one of my favorite places to get snacks. Without further ado, let's get to drinking. You know what? Let's climb a pumpkin tree with the gourd! Exclamation point. Tree! Or is it the gourd tree? The exclamation point is after gourd, so I'm not sure. But it's a pumpkin cider. I'm excited for that. I'm not huge on the pumpkin flavor. I like a, a good pumpkin pie maybe, but as a drink, I don't know. 5% alcohol. And this drink is from San Jose, California. I mean, it looks cool. One of my favorite animated Halloween TV specials has to be the Halloween tree. I love the old fashioned 2D animation. The main character, Mound Shroud, is voiced by Leonard Nimoy, AKA Spock from Star Trek. Kind of explores the culture behind the origins of Halloween. Getting back to pumpkin cider and the gourd tree. I've got a glass here so we can see if these drinks have any fun colors to them. Ooh, I smell pumpkin. Ooh, love the color. Yeah, that pumpkin smell is even stronger now out of the can. It looks like ginger ale though. All right, let's kick off Oktoberfest. <laughs> There's a lot of pumpkin in there. Pumpkin is strong. It almost kind of tastes like a pumpkin champagne to me. Pretty good. <sighs> a little tart. And it, it's heavy on the pumpkin. If you're a big pumpkin flavor fan, you're gonna enjoy this one. I know I'm making faces, but it is really good. It's just got a really strong, I don't know, sweetness that this, you can't help but go. <laughs> but it, it's good. Next up on our pumpkin beer adventure, Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale. 7% alcohol. All right, so it's got a little bit more alcohol than the last one. One thing I always appreciate about drinks, whether, I mean, even though I don't really like beer and stuff, they have some of the coolest artwork. And this one is one of my favorites so far. Uh, I do like the pumpkins and the moon. It's just, it gives you the Halloween nostalgia feel to it. So already off to a good feeling. All right, so this is an ale. Ales, hit or miss for me. Uh, again, I prefer a hard cider. Now, so far, pumpkin smells not as strong on this one. Oh my God, why did I pour that much? Look at that foam to drink ratio. <laughs> this looks like a beer to me, I, I don't know. There's hints of pumpkin taste, but the ale is overpowering. This is why I don't drink beer, because I do this. Ugh! 
Oh, you know what? It is called <clears throat> Howling Gourds and it is making me <laughs> I think if you enjoy beer, that you'll probably enjoy that. But if you don't enjoy beer, don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. Let us see what the next beer shall be. Blake's Hard Cider Company, Apple Lantern Roasted Pumpkin Hard Cider. Sounds like a lot going on there. I'm imagining it's a mix of pumpkin and apple flavor. That should be good. I will say this is the coolest can. I mean, look at that. It's completely black. Well, the top is completely black. It's got pumpkin apples on a tree in the woods. Ooh, I'm already liking the atmosphere this can is setting up. I would go through this forest and pick some pumpkin apples. All right, Blake, you got some good taste here, my friend. Ooh, limited release. You didn't hear that. Limited release series. It has 6.5% alcohol. So kind of in between the past two drinks in alcohol levels. And this one is from Armada, Michigan. Okay, good, we're, we're going around the states here a little more now. They have a little story here from our backyard since 1946. It's the season of campfires, sweaters, and pumpkin carving. Experience the warming flavor of our hand-picked apples balanced with the oven-roasted richness of pumpkin. Refreshingly crisp and perfectly spiced, Apple Lantern brings you the taste of autumn that can only come from Blake's Orchard. Fun little story here. This kind of helps me understand more. So it's got apples and roasted pumpkin in it. Definitely getting a cider smell to it. I don't really smell pumpkin. Ah! No! No! That didn't work. So this is already looking very similar to that first one we had as far as the color. Oh, I was pouring it wrong. Ugh, got it on my lap. And my nice chair. Can't take me anywhere, can you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, this tastes a lot like champagne. I think I kind of get the apple taste in there. I can't really put my finger on the pumpkin. There's like a little hint of something trying to poke through. And you see how I'm not making a face like I was with the first cider? This one kind of the, the, the tartness, I guess, is a little more chill, man. It's like, hey, man, come on. I'm not gonna make you make a face. Come on, sip on. That was very tasty. Really good drink. Sadly, we're coming close to the end of our Oktoberfest, but we've got one more drink. It's the final snack down. We have Oktoberfest Lager from Raleigh Brewing. So we're having a North Carolina drink. Shout out my home state. Now, being from Charlotte, I've always seen Raleigh as our nemesis. I don't know why, it's just, they're the capital of North Carolina, and I'm like, Charlotte should be the capital, not you guys. It's funny though, my one of my good friends, Don, he is from Raleigh. You'd never guess it, but he is. So that's helped me kind of warm up more to Raleigh and the Raleigh people. So I'm, you know, extending an olive branch and trying a Raleigh beer. I already know I'm probably not gonna like this because I don't drink that kind of stuff, but we'll see. It's 5.7% alcohol. Ah, ooh, that was a satisfying open. No real distinct smell. Ooh. Okay, not as much foam as the Howling Gourd, but uh, still a good bit. All right, let's see what Oktoberfest tastes like. Cheers. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it tastes like a, a refreshing beer to those who would enjoy this. But me, being one of the weird people that don't like beer, no. To me, personally, 
It's easier to drink than the Howling Gourd was, but it's still just got that taste I'm, I'm personally not a fan of. It does not mean this drink is bad. I just want to clarify that. Again, I don't have good taste in beer. I don't like beer. So just don't let my decision hinder you unless you really don't like beer. Woo-wee! This is the beeriest episode of any Snacktastic adventure we've had yet. And it's been interesting because, again, this is something I don't really do. As for my favorite drink from today's episode, it's going to Blake's Hard Cider Apple Lantern. Roasted Pumpkin Hard Cider. Also, award for longest drink title. I honestly would consider buying some more of these, especially during this time of year to have in the fridge to share with friends that come over. And uh, it probably wins as the coolest design of the beers. Am I wrong though? Which of these beers has the best design? Let me know down in the comments below. Go get yourself a drink if you want to have your own little Oktoberfest. Go to Trader Joe's. Most of these are like a dollar and fifty cents. They're very cheap. You can make your own little six pack and again, go home, have your own little Oktoberfest. Have it with your friends. I think that's going to wrap up this Oktoberfest episode. So if you like this episode, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We're looking to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're well on our way. We're almost to 700. Holy crap. Thank you for the amazing people that have gotten us here this far and continue to support our snacktastic content. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of our Halloween content. There's a lot more in store this October and you don't want to miss a second of it. <laughs> If you want to pick out our next snack, check out our Snack Fearless. Link in the description below. We've got some creepy crawly snacks on there. And if you want to support the channel and wear some cool snack merch, check out our Snacktastic shop. So until next time, keep on drinking. <laughs> Thanks so much for snacking with us. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Also, hit that bell button so you don't miss any snacktastic adventures. So if you haven't already, you should check out our snack shop. Mugs, t-shirts, and aprons galore. Anything you want to find, check it out at our snacktastic store. And we'll see you in the next snacktastic adventure. Woo!